So to predict the height of this one here, it is for it is one amp, but we want to make sure we can explain why it's one amp. See, if we look at the trend, first of all, we should know this without looking at the trend, but let's look at the trend anyway. If we go from four to two, what, what I've done is I've doubled the resistor, um, doubled the resistance, sorry, it was at one, it was one resistor, now it's two resistors, and because they're in series and they're identical resistors, then the, this one has twice as much resistance as this one. And when it has twice as much resistance, the current is half. Well, that's not a big surprise when you think about it because um, resistance is just how difficult it is for current to flow. If it's twice as difficult, the current's gonna be half as much. But if you want, we could also do it in terms of, um, in terms of the equation. So we know that um, I is equal to V over R. Um, and so because the voltage is going to be kept the same, we're keeping the battery the same, then we would be able to say that I is inversely proportional to R. That means that when R doubles, I halves. So you can think about it in terms of the equation, or you can think about it in terms of the definition of resistance. Definition of resistance is how much it, how difficult it is for current to flow, more or less. So um, if you double the resistance, you half the current. And we can see that in the table anyway, in the, sorry, in the graph anyway. When we go from one to two, the current goes from four to two. Okay, the current halves. So we use that, use that idea to predict the last one. When we go from two to four, again, we've doubled the resistance. So we're going to half the current. The current goes from two to one. Or if we like, when we go from one to four, we have quadrupled the resistance. The resistance is four times as strong, so the current is going to be one quarter of what it was originally. If we look at the third one, the third one's a bit weird to, it's difficult to read, and the reason for that is because it's basically going to be, well, I think it's going to be one and a, a 1.3 recurring. So that's why it's difficult to read. But let's do the maths. Um, if we this time from one going from one resistor to three resistors, we are tripling the resistance. Okay, so what's going to happen to the current? The current's going to reduce to a third of its original value. So um, the resistance um, resistance went to three times the resistance. So the current is going to go to one third of the original current. The original current was four amps. So it's going to be one third of four. Well, one third times four is four thirds, which is one and one third as a as a, um, a mixed number. And and we know that one is obviously just one. One third is is 0 0.3 recurring. So that's why we have one third one point three recurring here. So again. Um, if I double the resistance, I half the current, okay? And we can see that in this table here. And that was the way to predict this one here. See, at first we thought, well, where's the data? There's no data here to tell me how do I recall this table? You have to identify the trend and then predict what the final one would be there, okay? <laughs>